She ready. Give him that nickname, baby. She ready. She ready. Oh, hey, oh. hey. The first time I met Tiffany, I was at the Met Gala, and everybody was so poised and so well dressed and in their place, you know, voguing. And all of a sudden, I hear like this sc scandalous screaming, and I turn around, and there she was. And I just saw this crazy person completely out of control in the middle of the beautiful Met Gala. And I instantaneously fell in love. The first one, the first time I met Summer uh, was on set, and she's like, honey, I love you. You're amazing. Oh, you make me laugh so hard. And I was like, I love her fighting. And then I was like, dang, I want to smoke some weed with her. And you know, now I sleep at her house in a circle bed, living my best life. So the first time I met Tiffany, she came to the Instant Family set, and I was shy. Summer doesn't believe me. But I thought, it's, I just thought she was so pretty. I was like, oh, and she had on a really cool camouflage jacket. And I was like, look how pretty she is. Look at her beautiful eyes. She just, she looked at me, she went, and then didn't make no more eye contact. She said, hello, nice to meet you. And then didn't make no more eye contact. I was like, dang, is she throwing shade? Like, what the hell's going on? Like, I, w I wasn't used to, you know, somebody not looking me directly in the eye and like, we chop it up. But I, now that I know, you know, she has a process. She has a process, my boo got a process. But um, we came across this script, right, of Like a Boss, and they were like, who do you want to play opposite of? And I was like, I don't know, I don't know, you guys figure it out. And they said, what do you think of Rose Byrne? And I was like, I like her, but I don't know if she like me. And they said, maybe y'all should just hang out one time so you can have a phone conversation. So I called her, the phone conversation was good. Then I was like, meet me at my hotel, and now I'm pregnant by her. We just couldn't stop chatting, and we've been chatting ever since. And she's, you know, she's magical. She's the reason I wanted to do the movie. She's my woman. She's Tiffnicity. I met Rose in the makeup trailer. You know, I was nervous because they were already shooting this movie, and they were already a family, and I showed up weeks later. And on top of it, they had read a script with a character that was one way. And then the director and I had already agreed that we were gonna transform the character into something else. And I was nervous, because there's a lot of actors who wouldn't go for that. And they could have not been more generous and loving. Salma, I met in the trailer. Never met her before, and I was nervous. And she was so tiny, little, and she had was getting her wig on. I just remember thinking her eyes were, so big, and she had this gaze of just absolute penetration, uh, looking at you and listening and taking it in. She was very uh, present, and um, and it just got more and more fun and interesting talking to her and getting to know her. And she's like, she's a true boss. She is a true boss. We bonded and connected really, really fast. For me, it was a, a breath of fresh air because I am normally around major testosterone, like I don't do a lot of girl films. And I just felt at home, at ease, embraced, um, artistically stimulated, supported, inspired, and they were, and they are very, very important to me. And they are separately amazing human beings. I love them. That's, that's my Spanish mama Cita right there. You wanna hear a funny story? She told me that it's, it cracks me up every time I think about it. She was telling me, she was like, I remember this time when I was poor. I was like, you was poor? She's like, yes, I was so poor and I had an audition and I didn't have anything to wear. So my housekeeper took me downtown Los Angeles and bought me an outfit. And I was like, yo, housekeeper? I thought you said. <laughs> <laughs> 15 hugs a day keeps the psychiatrist away. Really? Yes. Come on. Bring that ass here, girl. Come on. Give me some. I'm a little right, lady. Yes, I know. It's all right. Disgusting. That's what we love. I 
love you, you love me, we're a happy family. Feliz Navidad. Hey, she ready? Give me she ready. Hey, baby, she ready. Hey. Oh, it's my turn. Yeah. Let's do some salsa moves. No jumping ropes. Have mercy yeah, on the people yeah. with boobs. <laughs> Let's start to look really ugly. But you have to make the face. And hold. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dislikes. And hold. Now let's be sexy. Sex it up. Go, go, go. Go, go. Oh, we, we got, got you, baby. Right. Three, two, one. Go. We got it. No problem. No problems. Yay. Yeah. This is going we can We let her fall, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is where the comedy comes. Oh, three, one. The comedy comes in. It, it start dancing. One, two, yeah, yeah. three. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> She's like, y'all. Yeah. She got all that. Three, two, one. <laughs> tip, tip. See, they were there with me all the way down. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and compliment these lovely ladies. Uh, compliment number one. Selma, I love your hair. I want your hair. I've been trying to find wigs like your hair. I think you have the most beautiful luxurious, healthy hair. Yeah, she hits me with it sometimes and it makes me cream just a little bit. That's how much I love her hair. I know, it's, it's not really that great. <laughs> <laughs> See, amazing hair. <laughs> no extensions. And though. Selma? Touch, 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 touch. No, no extensions? Oh, look, it's so, it's so nice. Look at that. Look, at, look how good I would look with it. <laughs> and you, have, you haven't seen the secret one. It's even more beautiful. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have seen it. She braids it and everything. It's I'm gorgeous. Just, no, <laughs> she, she cuts it off and she gives it to a lot of love. Ago. <laughs> no. And Selma's eyes. I love, yeah. love, love your eyes. Mm -hmm. They are everything. They mm -hmm. I've been to you. Look, this is the most kindest, wonderful woman. She let me sleep in her princess bed. I woke up, I thought I was 10 years old again. I was like, oh, finally, I'm a princess. And then I She actually I realized, has a room in my house in London. And when we show the house, and this is Stephanie's room. <laughs> I love, love her. Rose. Oh, pressure's on. No pressure. No, no. Rose. You have the best heart oh. ever, and you are so patient and so Thank supportive. You, darling. Yeah, I love you a lot. Oh, too. She's my really good friend. Oh, I can call her, and she's not going to answer the phone, but she going to call back. Exactly. <laughs> she going to call back. You don't answer the phone either, Selma. <laughs> Baby, but I answer but, the door, you show yeah, up anyway. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, he got the the door. Door. Yes. <laughs> But the best heart, and oh my oh, goodness, you are. you are my favorite person to dance with. Oh. I love dancing with her. I love being silly with you. Ooh. She's a strong, beautiful woman. Uh, ladies. Really what I want is the energy and spirit these two women have, because they have enough energy for 12 people, each of them. <laughs> they bring it. They bring the joy, they bring the fun, they bring the jokes, they bring the laughs. They're so smart. And if I just could have a little bit of that, I would, I'd, I'd be less tired. I'd be, I'd be better at contributing to things. And they're bold, you know, they're not shy. And I can be shy, and they're, they're good. They, they take it by the reins. 
She my, pretends my to be shy. She's she not shy. <laughs> she's oh, not I am shy. She, That's why I didn't say hi at my Insta family. She's got like a great shy. act going on this oh, one. Oh, Selma thinks I'm... Oh, yeah. And she's super, super funny, super smart, and fascinating. You can like watch her stuff. All That's the thing, Summer is an incredible observer. Yeah. Of people I, and yes. situations and things. Anyone, everything, everyone. You're like detail oriented. Well, I'm very glad I found both of them in my life because we are kinder spirits in that way. We're still curious. We want to grow. We want to be better every day at everything we do. I love them. Selma looks just like my mum when my mum was 25. You know, it's crazy. She really does. It's, uh, it's extraordinary. And I met Selma's dad, and he looked at me and was like, you look like my wife. We're going to figure it out. But dad said she looks like my mum. You know, maybe I'm just showing off now. But, <laughs> but that was very cool. That was, that was wild.